<laughs> okay, <laughs> welcome to Cleaning Company Blueprint. I'm Victoria, and today we have Brianna. Brianna is one of our cleaners for our cleaning company, and she's here to share with everyone what it's really like to be a cleaner working for one of these companies. <laughs> Um, okay, so Brianna, you started with Oak Bay Clean, our company, a little over a year ago now, um, and I wanted to get into a little bit more about your backstory, because I know you came to us from having another career, um, so tell us about that other career and what made you want to switch out of it. Uh, well, I was a breakfast cook, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a very fast-paced environment, and I just felt like I was doing a lot for not very much pay, picking up the slack of others. And I'm just like, you know what? I want to work for myself, by myself. And you used to work as a cleaner because I wouldn't have hired you otherwise, but you I had... Helped. Yeah, I helped someone a few years ago and she taught me a lot. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And so then you were like, okay, I want to be independent, but you were still looking on Indeed because <laughs> I think that's how you found us through the yeah, Indeed ads. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Indeed, yeah. Yeah. And then there was something that resonated in that that made you feel like I can still be independent still choose my own hours, make a lot more money. Yeah. Ever since I started, I haven't really had to worry about money, which has been nice. <laughs> it's different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like the first time I'm like comfortable. <laughs> and study. And that's part of the reason yeah. that I asked you in here, because I know, I don't even know how much you remember about this, Brianna, but when you first started, I remember being like, this woman comes from such a stressful environment because I know I haven't worked in kitchens myself, but I've worked enough with chefs and around that world. And I just remember thinking, and I remember your interview because I was like, oh man, if you can work in a stressful, busy kitchen diner, I'm pretty sure you can handle cleaning. Just about anything. <laughs> exactly. Just about anything. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and so we threw you in and then because you were new, of course, you get a lot of one time, first time clients, which yeah. is a lot more pressure. A little and bit more I, work. Yeah. And a lot more work, right? Yeah. Yeah. Whereas then you were, you finally got into a routine and you were like, okay, I know where I am every other Monday. And then the next Monday. So I have a good amount of regulars and then I like them all. They're great. Have you ever had to drop a regular? I don't think you have. I don't think so. I usually like put the bi-weeklies first yeah like priority wise In or your like I, have the, I have two week or i had two weekly clients so just have the one weekly now yeah but yeah bi-weeklies are more important i would think because how do you feel like what's the difference between besides money obviously inconsistency what's the difference between a weekly client and a bi-weekly client in terms of their expectations or their treatment of you or um my weekly client is great actually uh it's more like just maintaining she's got three kids so wow. i get it <laughs> it's, yeah. it's usually pretty clean when i get in there yeah okay but, so uh, that makes sense maintaining is uh a lot easier <laughs> than you know if a yeah. first initial clean and the reason i ask that is that we've had some weekly clients that are like type a everything has to be spotless at all times and that's why they bring cleaners in every week and then the flip side of that we've had weeklies that are like kind of chaotic and yeah so she sounds like she's somewhere in between the two so that's actually probably the sweet spot <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I don't yeah. mind like you know organizing a little bit of toys and stuff it's, it's easy it's, I have fun while I do it <laughs> yeah and you're so bubbly like it makes sense you get along with the kids with their dogs with yeah. you know, clients yeah. that are like oh I, I like just have fun with cleaner. it yeah exactly <laughs> so how is your life so it, it's steadier now, it's calmer because you know, you know, what your days look like. Um, yeah. But in the beginning, it, I remember <laughs> I would get texts and you'd be like, is there any more work for me? <laughs> <laughs> that one. Is there any more work Give for me? me more work. <laughs> <laughs> that was the beginning, which is always the way. <laughs> and then within a couple of months, it was, I just need regulars. And I was like, yeah, yeah. no doubt. <laughs> you have any more openings? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> yep. That was it. Yep. I had I get the the ga the calendars and wrote wrote it all out. And I'm like, okay, maybe I have a couple openings, but I was glad I did that. I needed to do that. <laughs> right. Cause it's near impossible with Convert Labs, which is the software we use, you only see, and I, and forgive me because I'm I know it from my end, but from your end, you only see the next week out. Yeah. Yeah. And that's intentional, and that's because clients change things all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Kids get sick, dogs need to go to the vet 
grandparents, the kids are visiting, they're going on vacation, whatever, right? So yeah. but from your end to plan your life, you just sit down with like a piece of paper and a pen. Uh, well, I have the monthly calendars now that I write out um, like the day and every client and yeah. stuff and I put my baseball on there and it's been helpful. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'm glad I did it. And I remember because you didn't used to mark off any time. Like you were always like, whenever I'll do weekends, because I think you were just like you wanted to work. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's in the summertime. I usually like my weekends off. <laughs> yep. Too nice. <laughs> yep. But come the winter time, I'll be like, yeah, any day. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. And then Wednesday nights, I know you always have baseball. I like to have a healthy work and uh, life balance. <laughs> we talk about it all the time on this channel yeah, for the owners too, because <laughs> a lot of the folks who start these companies, they, um, well, it's kind of an entrepreneurial thing. Like you go all in and you go so hard and it's like, just relax. You know, we're here to make it easier for the cleaners. Yeah. Not harder. So yeah. The worst thing you can do is stress about it. Then yeah, you'll start and I, stuff and yeah. And I kind of yeah. see myself like the, the I guess the referee of a baseball game, actually, like the person that's like, <laughs> hey, you can't do that. You know, so, <laughs> so like that's what I'm doing all the time with the clients to try to make it easier for you guys. Um, yeah. You know, you don't need it as much now because you've got all regulars, which is great. Yeah, no, I was, I was on the website the other day and I was like, wow, there's a lot of uh, reviews about me on here. Good ones. I'm like, this is great. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I like love. it. <laughs> yeah. And, and you've got a really nice Feels schedule. Good. You do one in the morning, one in the afternoon for the most part. Um, yeah. Pretty consistently. I would like to do like three, I think, small jobs in a day. That might be worth my time. Yeah. How do you <laughs> like, feel about that? Is it worth your time? I think so. I think like if I do like one day a week like that or maybe two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How big would they have to be? I would say like the one bedrooms or the two bedrooms. Yeah. Yeah. I think one bedroom, one bath, you could do three a day pretty easily, maybe four. Yeah. But um, if they were all downtown and if you had parking, we added a parking fee of uh, it's just twenty dollars. But because I noticed down, that today. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I had to because it's I mean, the parking's gone up and I know for all of you guys, it's hard. I know you're not taking jobs downtown because it's like, no, nope, yeah. too hard. And then it's like, wait, yeah, I'm like, I remember that building. That access is terrible. <laughs> and from the client's point of view, they don't think about that. No, no. And it's like, you can't like, you know, shame them because of the location. But So walk me through a typical day for you as a cleaner now. Well, I usually have at least two jobs a day, which is super nice. Uh, yeah. I start at 9 a.m. Yep. <laughs> uh, my first job is usually from 9 to 12. So three, usually the three hour minimum. Yep. Um, yeah. And then my second job is at one. So that gives me an hour for lunch, which is nice. I like to have my lunch. And uh, yeah, I'm usually done around four, sometimes five, depending on the job. Yeah. And yeah, once a week I have baseball in the evenings, which is I'm glad I got back into that. I used to play when I was growing up, like for like 10 years. <laughs> so and I finally got back into it. So and when do you you have to do obviously a lot of laundry with your rags, maintenance of your supplies, your vacuum cleaner? Like when do you have a routine for that? Or is that just kind of random? I kind of uh, just adapt, adopted this new uh, thing where I have enough cloths for the week and I only have to wash, do one load of cloths. Smart cookie. But I was doing them like every day and I was like, okay, this is getting ridiculous. Yeah. How many rags do you think you have? Probably over a hundred. Yeah, I would think that. <laughs> yeah, I look at it as like a week, how, many, how much I need for the week. And it's something that new cleaners never think about. I've run out a few times and I'm like, nope, never again. Because that would be super stressful, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what do yeah. I use? Oh, I got some magic erasers. Have you had yeah. vacuums break on you yet? Uh, no, I've been lucky, actually. I have one that's been going strong. It's a shark professional lift away. And I got it for free from one of our clients when they moved. Oh. And it's, uh, yeah, it's bagless. It's great. It's, it's lasted me. I love it. That's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe a client gave you their vacuum. <laughs> yeah, they they were leaving a bunch of stuff behind and they put my name on it and everything. I'm like, oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, Christmas time. I got lots of gifts and stuff, too. It was super cute. Really? <laughs> yeah. Aww. Gift they cards and chocolates and yeah. Mm. The, the, especially new clients. They always ask, like, do we tip? What do we do? And I'm like, usually at Christmas, people will do something nice. You know, it's never expected. Yeah. It's always appreciated. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of little gift bags and stuff. It's like the gestures. It's cute. You have a couple 
if I recall correctly, you've got a couple of the elderly clients that are, and don't say any names, but are potentially, you know, facing dementia or Alzheimer's and, and you have a really lovely way of working with them. I wonder if it's because I worked at the hospital for like nine years and I worked on the floor as I was doing the food services up there. So I talked to, there's a lot of old people in the hospital. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think maybe I just got used to it doing that. And you have a really thick skin. Like you don't take it personally. That's how I know you can't. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of people do, which has always been one of the things I really appreciate about you. Cause I know like you have bad days, just like I have bad days. Everybody has bad days. Um, but you're always able to be like, oh yeah, she's having a bad day. You know, like you can yeah. always have that perspective rather than. As I'm getting older, I'm kind of noticing like, okay, you acted a little bit irrational there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I noticed it. <laughs> Yeah. Acknowledge it. <laughs> yeah. And then that's it. You can just yeah. put that in a box over there and not. Worry yeah. About it. Try not to do that again. <laughs> do you have any memories of any like particularly bad days where you were like pulling your hair out or just feeling like the there worst? was that one that they had smoked in the house for like 20 years, I think. And the walls were like dripping and with like yellow. I don't know if that's like, what is that? Like tobacco or nicotine. Yeah nicotine or yeah and like it, it the more you wiped it the worse it got <laughs> I, was like, I don't know what to do it's funny you bring that one up because we just got a booking um where I have uh, I haven't invited anybody yet but there's I've assigned four cleaners to it and it's a 2,000 square foot home that is exactly like that but yeah I'm going to reach out to all you guys and just ask like who knows how to do this and and the only thing I can think is to mop the walls but I'm not a specialist I have no idea yeah, like I have like those flat mops that are good for walls. I have a couple of those. Does it hurt your lungs or anything being in that kind of a space? Like, is there anything you need to do to protect? Because immediately I go to, you know, personal protective equipment. I definitely not going to open all the windows first. Yeah. Um, I I used to be a smoker, so it doesn't really bother me as much yeah. as it might somebody else. But it does get gross. Yeah. Just air it out first. Yeah, that's what I told the client. Maybe wear a mask if it's really bad. Mm-hmm. And I'm ready you're to go. a premium. So you guys are getting paid a premium, which is awesome. And you probably won't end up doing it because you've got your regulars anyway. So so it's all good. But um, but yeah, okay. So that so physically demanding, challenging would be the worst. Um, have you ever had any clients be particularly rude to you or mean? Not really. No, they're very appreciative. That's so great. And and compared <laughs> to working in a kitchen as a chef and to now, how you mentioned that your salary is obviously so much better, but like without, you know, revealing too much private information, how <laughs> different is it? Like, what does that mean for your life? You know, do you have a better, well, place I, you know, live? I can do a lot more. I, uh, I, you know, that peace of mind mm-hmm. is a big part, yeah. you know, like yeah. there's always something there in case I need it. Yeah. Nice feeling. <laughs> Because for a lot of people, cleaning is really stressful. Um, yeah, I see that from some people. And I'm like, you need to relax. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you stress about it, you're like, you'll miss things. And what's the point? Yeah. And you've been asked to do recleans, like everybody has. Yeah, um, usually when I go been... back, it's like five minutes and I'm gone. And your ego's yeah. not bruised by it because you just go, oh, it's just fun. No, it's like, a big deal. when I, after I do like a first time clean with someone, I'll say, like, if I miss anything, let me know. I won't be offended. Please tell me. Perfect. Make sure I get it. I bet they love that. I try to make it comfortable for them to say that, you know. If you were to have a cleaner partner up with you, like tomorrow, for example, that's brand new. Do you have any advice that you would offer to them? I kind of have the saying that I say. Mm. <laughs> if it's flat, it's going to have dust on it. <laughs> Every flat surface. That's yeah, a good so point. You have to go everywhere. Because I've noticed a lot of cleaners, they they miss a lot of places with the dusting. It's like, you gotta, top to bottom, yeah. <laughs> you just got to do it. Top to bottom, you just got to do it. And do you have a, um, some cleaners have like left to right, top to bottom. Do you follow that or you just? Mm, I just use my Swiffer if it's like, you know, just light work. Yeah. Um, if it needs a wash, then I'll use my flat mop head. Right. Because you've, you've done some toughies. Yeah, but the, I've never walked out on one. There was the a uh, one that I had. It was a, a young boy, and he, I guess, he uh, was depressed and stuff. And I just felt bad for him. And like he's like another company came, and they ended up leaving. They wouldn't do it, so I felt bad. I'm like, all right, well, let's get it done. <laughs> he was really grateful after. I'm glad I did it. <laughs> well, yeah, because a lot of people with severe depression or anxiety, like they need help. Yeah, and you might be the only person 
that they interact with in person. Yeah. You never know. Because you just never know. Exactly. And have you ever, you've never felt unsafe for anything where you've walked in and been like, I got to get the hell out of here? No, no. I kind of get along with everyone. I've been versatile like that my whole life. Yeah. Well, that. (laughs) People are like, how do you do it? I'm like, I don't know. It just comes naturally. (laughs) Yeah, it does for sure. And you're really bubbly. Like that's just who you are. But also I'm a bit of a pit bull. I will. I'll. I'll pat myself a bit on the back there because I'm I'm very protective of you guys and I I do set yeah, strong yeah. boundaries, especially with new clients. You take care um, of us. <laughs> I have to. I don't know how you guys do what you do. I think it's so challenging because I I see what you do as um, physical labor, but also emotional labor, and sometimes it's almost spiritual labor. Like you make people's lives better by going yeah. in and cleaning. Yeah, their you're helping people's mental health for sure. Decluttered space, decluttered mind. Is your own space decluttered? <laughs> uh yeah, yeah. I keep it pretty tidy. I'm kind of a clean as you go kind of person. Really? Yeah, and a little OCD too, which probably makes me a great cleaner. <laughs> These are good traits. <laughs> so what's next for you life-wise? I don't know. I'm just kind of just trying to save money and yeah. um, maybe my boyfriend and I get a place together. Mm-hmm. Um, that could be in the future. So nothing too crazy. Like yeah. I plan, I, I think I finally found something I'd want to do. You know, maybe this is what I'm going to do. I think it's good money. Um I'm not lacking in anything. Like, did you, do you ever find that when you tell somebody you work as a cleaner that they're kind of like, oh, you should do something else? Or like, what's, what are people's reactions when you meet them for the first time and tell them you're a cleaner? Oh, it's like, oh, wow, that's hard work. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I work out for a job and it's great. <laughs> I don't have to do it when I get home. Some cleaners More do, free time. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. The one, one girl I've worked with a few times, she has like yep. three jobs a day and then goes to the gym after I'm like. How do you do that? <laughs> she's in great yeah, she, shape, though. <laughs> she's in great shape, and she says she needs it for her mental health. Yeah, no, it, yeah. it's, yeah, yeah that's a big part. It. Well, I'm just so happy that it's gone so well for you, because I, I don't know if you've even noticed, but, like, we go through 30 to 50 cleaners in a year. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, just anyone thinks they can just clean. It's like, no, not anyone can. <laughs> no, and even cleaners with a lot of experience. Um, can't clean at the level that you're expected to clean at with our company um, because our method is you're independent. Like you need to know what you're doing. We don't train you. We don't coach you. We don't give you a list of supplies to that you need. Like you should already know what your yeah. supplies are that you like. Yeah, like you, the, the responsibility is a lot on us, which is great. I'm okay with that, but. It's not for everybody. <laughs> Maybe not <Yeah>. for everybody. <laughs> no, no. Some people need a boss and they need, yeah. you know, somebody Guidance. to direct them. Yeah. And, uh, and like you said, a lot of people think cleaning's easy and then they go out and, and like, they just think they could just go to the dollar store and get things and. <laughs> bless. <laughs> and just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That you can just go and pick like up. Get a, a little bit of effort into it and take feedback. Yeah, right, and yeah. not be precious about that feedback. I think that's maybe the difference because I welcome it because it's going to make me better as a cleaner. And uh, every yeah. time, like every time anyone said anything, I will always remember that, and I look at it every time. And you never do that same thing again. Never. <laughs> I always oh. tell clients that like it's it's good to give feedback because it helps them, and they will never make the same mistake twice. And if they do, we have a problem. something else going on there and sometimes it's height actually i remember we had one cleaner who was particularly small like just tiny and so she couldn't reach things yeah and i was like you (laughs) you gotta get a step stool like you you gotta get a step stool actually truth be told i've made it this far without a step stool i just use like the chairs or (laughs) oh don't tell me that (laughs) get a step stool only because um, <laughs> you've been lucky you haven't had any injuries but people do thing oh. is i hate not being able to work yeah yeah I, I don't see you as someone that would enjoy just sitting around no like even if i won the lottery i'd probably still work <laughs> same 100 yeah, percent. go crazy yeah <laughs> probably work a lot less but i'd still work <laughs> yeah even if you work slowly yeah i don't yeah. know i can't really go slow i just kind of have a pace to me <laughs> speaking of let's talk about that so we you know for the most part you're on standard cleaning jobs so we don't time we we say when you'll arrive but we don't tell the clients how long you'll be there because it's based on the job and the tasks that need to be done not based on the time yeah was that an adjustment for you was that easy to wrap your head around 
at first it was a little stressful because I, I took longer, yeah. um, you know, getting to, yeah, I feel like it took a, like, yeah, maybe almost an hour to 45 minutes longer than I take now. Yeah, yeah. It gets a lot quicker, which is nice. So in the beginning, were you doing math in your head where you're like, oh, I only made this amount per hour? No, actually, I didn't really think about that. I just saw the money coming in and I'm like, okay. (laughs) Right. And like, I've never had a job I got paid every day on. So yeah, I was very excited about that as well. Yeah, Coming from getting paid every two weeks and being broke for a week. Like, yeah, that sucks. We do it because it's easier. I love it. Me too. And I catch mistakes because I make mistakes. Like I probably, I I made one with you today. Yeah. I think you sent me um, another cleaner's pay for the day because I had already got one already and it finally just canceled. So it should be back to you. (laughs) That's hilarious. Yeah. So we do. I mean, other people will rely on like kind of complicated payroll systems and ours. And again, um, for anybody watching this, we are in Canada, so it is very different. We have e-transfer here, which means we go from bank to bank and everybody's used to it. Even my mom, you know, who's in her 70s, is used to e-transfer. There's no teaching them. There's no extra apps to add. In the States, the reason I have to say all that, Brianna, is in the States, they always have, like, middlemen for everything. Yeah. Um, they still so, use that weird credit card way, the, like, when I was down there recently. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I couldn't even use my card, my my debit card at a bar. I was like, what? Yeah, they don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Our banking is actually... We're pretty good at banking here in Canada, (laughs) hockey and banking. And so for us, it's really easy as a company to just go at the end of the day, every day, pretty consistently. It's usually between about four and five, which is when I want to finish my work day. Yeah, me Um, too. I kind of just, it's just in my bones. We're done here. (laughs) What else do I want to talk about? We talked about your worst day. We talked about, oh, uh, do you have any favorite memories? (laughs) I think my favorite would be like walking into a place that's already clean. (laughs) Uh, uh, that sometimes it seems like that happens like you know like prepare for listings or like the fine details but like and you never really know what you're walking into either so it's like a big relief when you're like oh thank god yeah. <laughs> it's like it's to move out and you leave, you check what area of town it is you're like oh i don't know <laughs> it has yeah. happened though yeah. because like we had a client last week moving here from the states and she was really nervous she bought a house here And then kept saying, like, I don't think the owners are going to do the move out clean. And I kept explaining, okay, but here, most of the time they do a move out clean. So you don't need a move in clean. So if you book it, just know that the cleaners might be. And she's like, yeah, I want that. I want them to re-clean whatever they cleaned. I'm like, okay. "Okay." (laughs) All right. (laughs) The cleaners will love it. (laughs) I Yeah, I don't know. Like all the notes, like I just, I do the same thing every time to like you know all the different notes it's it's all the same yeah <laughs> oh you know the extras so you know yeah only do that when those are on there but they're like oh make sure you get in here it's like yep yep i do that normally yeah <laughs> thank you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're so cute right they want to like yeah yeah they're nervous yeah. they're just as nervous as you are I and think. it's like someone they don't know this was the first time coming into their personal space yep. that's big it is big. And for a lot of people, they've had bad experiences before with other cleaners. Um, yeah. And I think it's, it's a lot easier to if you're able to communicate with them and be kind of relaxed and calm, chill. Yeah. Easy to approach. One of the things that I keep saying in the notes that I write, uh, especially for move out cleans, is to bring a pen and paper so that you write down when you tried to get something clean, but it just won't get clean. Yeah. Do you it's do good that? for them to know you tried. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I actually I haven't got one yet. <laughs> I got to buy you one. guys. <laughs> I mean, go I've just had the dollar store too. <laughs> it's one of those things. I know. And I that's why I write it down all the time. I'm like, bring notes. Um, I'm but- starting to like, I have a calendar on my phone now and I'm thinking I'm going to put my work schedule on there. I'm like, I'm starting to need a calendar and well, <laughs> just turned uh, 36 on uh, yesterday. I so. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your brain needs it, but also just for the calm, right? You have a much easier, not cleaning is never easy, but it's easier when you're not doing so many move in, move outs. All yeah. Time. Yeah. I don't mind doing them once in a while, but yeah, sometimes, yeah, you got to put in some, some elbow work. <laughs> I think you're, you're in what I call the sweet spot for cleaning, which is 80% recurrings and 20% one-time cleans. That's also our model. for. Yeah. The I like having that 20% open to, you know, take 
move in, move outs because they they pay more, right? So it's nice having those. Sometimes they don't pay more, but it's rare. I think it's about 5% of the time where you're like, oh, man. Yeah, no, usually, yeah, usually they've been pretty good for me. They've yeah, been worth it. That's good. That's good to hear. <laughs> Have you done, yeah. you've done a lot of post-construction too, right? I've done a, f- a couple, yeah, but I kind of don't like using my vacuums and the sawdust. It's like, they should give us a vacuum to use. Yep. Shop yeah, I'm like, this is going to ruin my vacuum. Like, I don't want to go buy a new vacuum. I'm very uh, protective over my vacuums. <laughs> As you should be. They do break. Yeah. They're your yeah. lifeline. <laughs> they are your lifeline. You wouldn't believe, Brianna, you have no idea uh, what I deal with on a day-to-day basis, but we have so many cleaners who will be like, oh, my vacuum broke. I can't do the clean anymore. Can you send someone else? And I'm like, my vacuum broke. I can't check the closet to see if the client has one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or I can't ask or I can't figure it I out. I use or... a lot of my clients' vacuums because I think they prefer it because you're not bringing an outside vacuum that you've cleaned a lot of houses, other houses with, right? So I just ask them, do you prefer yeah. yours or mine or? Yeah. yeah. And as long as you ask, that's great. We, we've we had some problems with cleaners not showing up with any. And it's like, you 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 know, yeah. <laughs> I only don't bring mine if I know they have one and I've used exactly. it before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But again, you know, you know that other life and you know, like you, you, you needed that independence, um, yeah. you know, to own your own time and own your own. Right? Every other yeah. job I've had and every time I've relied on other people, I've always gotten let down, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. That's a sad thing to say, but yeah. trust myself. <laughs> yep. 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 I think the best cleaners are like that in all honesty. They're the ones that are like, they treat it like a job because it is. It's a profession. Yep. It's a career. Um, and that's what it is. I also like to like, I like to enjoy my day too. Even if I'm working, like I put my music on and dance clean sometimes. Like I've talked to the pets, yeah. <laughs> probably look like I'm crazy, but I have fun. <laughs> I'm sure they love you. I'm sure the pets are like. <laughs> yeah. There's only one cat that I'm like, well, I want you warm up to me, but I'm still mm-hmm. working on him. So just for perspective, out of every hundred applicants, we hire maybe one. I get that. Yeah. And then out of one what cleaner, I've seen, yeah. Yeah. they'll go out and you've seen, like, they'll do a test clean and we'll we'll accept or reject based on the cleaner's feedback. And you've had both sides where you've been like, this person's amazing. Take yeah. it on. And then the flip side, like. And it's hard, too, to decide, like, should I say the truth about this person? Always. And yeah. it's like me. I'm a truth teller. So you're going to get the truth from me. <laughs> well, and you got it because you're not helping them. By protecting them, just like clients aren't helping cleaners with by not telling them where they're screwing up. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or like someone you you do a clean with and they're they won't tell you where they've cleaned and then you do it and they're like, I've already cleaned that. And I'm like, Well, why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> what I right. asked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just communicate. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so we go through and we have gone through many people where references check out or they're lovely and then they go out and we're like huh and well then, and too like this work is like the proof is in the pudding so if they're complaining the clients are complaining then it's like well you're not a good cleaner that's it Bottom it's line. Harsh. <laughs> yeah like it's harsh but it is what it is and that's it, why I, I i like i sell in jobs like this because i feel like i'm a good worker hard worker yeah. And more so than other people <laughs> for once yeah. in my life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And and you've been yeah. burning in the past. We're working with other people and being like, hey, we're earning the same wage or I'm earning even less and picking up your slack. Not even about what we made, just like the amount of work that I did compared to them. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. 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 And with our system, and we, we do partner you up with people and you guys give me feedback and I so appreciate that. But I'm very conscious of like who works well together. Um, yeah yeah you know what everyone i've worked with has been great i have my favorites and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they're all great I, I think i have them all on my phone too i have other phone numbers too and i put dream team behind it <laughs> oh cute that's so cute and we've been asked before to throw like christmas parties or staff parties or whatever but then i always ask you guys like, do you want money or do you want the party and the answer is always i want more money, money. <laughs> <laughs> so i'm like how about we just give you cash yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I go, go to party parties. if you want to. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I like to keep my work life and private life separate. hundred <laughs> percent. But this is nice. You know, I'm working for myself by myself, which is best for me, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where I can shine. And you've done a lot of high end homes. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of uh most of them actually. I would say like 75%. They're 
very good condition homes and see that's why you know at the beginning of this you said maybe doing three condos in a day would be lovely but I would counter that with having two lovely homes in a day is probably better long term um two, as a- like larger homes yeah for sure would like a little bit more of a payout on each one yeah yeah, yeah. Do more time. Whereas if you do three and a lot of companies do like they'll do three, four, five, six, they partner the cleaners together and they have like a lead driver um, and they, you know, that person gets paid a little more for using their car and then they drive around from place to place. And, you know, but, but when I've talked to those cleaners, they're like, oh yeah, no, five, six homes a day. And I'm like, wow. I mean, I do like my solo cleans. Like, I I think I prefer that. But I also don't mind, like, move-ins and stuff. It's nice having another cleaner there. because So you don't have to do everything, right? One of the things about being in a small city that I find quite comical is I can look at the reviews for other companies and I'll know the people. (laughs) I'm like, Oh, the... ah. (laughs) So they're they're shopping around. (laughs) Well, or they might not even go with us. Like, I know them outside of this world. Oh, you know. A lot of people don't know we own a cleaning company. We haven't we haven't used our own social networks at all. Everything we've done yeah. has been on Google. Um, nice. That's what we're all about is people looking for us can find us. That's it. Yeah. And it's not about me and my sister. It's about you guys. And even then, yeah. you know, I don't put your photos on there. I don't, yeah. you know, again, I'm very protective of you guys. So there's a reason for that because the reviews will talk about how great you are as a cleaner. And I don't want them choosing you based on, you know, she looks like this. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, you just don't have it even open for that. It's not relevant. (laughs) It's not relevant what you look like. Nope, nope. Not at all. Yeah. Anyway, this has been fun. Thank you for doing this. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I was a little nervous, but. Nah, you're great. Thank you so much, Brianna. I really appreciate you. (laughs) Thank you. you. (laughs) This was fun, actually. Well, and I think it really helps. There's a ton of cleaning companies out there, and I haven't seen very many that actually invite a real cleaner on and say to them, what is your day like? Uh, and yet we're all talking about cleaning companies all day long. So I think it's really important that you're here. Yeah, that you're sharing absolutely. the story. We're, we're like the, uh, the face of it all, you know, you're everything. <laughs> you're yeah. the product. We're doing the work. <laughs> you're doing the work. You're the face. You're the product. You're what gets reviewed. I mean, it is nice having you guys there though. Like I wouldn't want to deal with the scheduling part that it seems like it would be a headache. So it is nice having you guys there to like fill our schedule and it's not easy. Uh, let's stress on us. <laughs> yeah. Luckily the I software. I can only imagine. <laughs> well, this and the software really helps. Like being able to invite you based on your schedule and have you look, can I do it? And then yeah. accept it. You gotta be quick with it though, some of those. <laughs> and you are. Right away. I'm like, oh, it's oh, it's already full. All right. <laughs> it's like, yeah. how could they have clicked? My phone just went off. <laughs> That's how quick they are. So thank you so much. Keep doing what you're doing because you're awesome. Um, and I am going to get you- five star reviews coming in. Exactly. <laughs> All right, my dear. So enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. I think I'm going to have some dinner. I don't know yet. I don't know what yet. Yeah, <laughs> so healthy. You you, yeah. I really appreciate you taking the time out. And um, yeah, it's thanks for uh, having hour. me on. Yeah. I've never done anything like this. So it's really cool. <laughs> You and many others that have been on this where they're like, this is my first time ever. I'm like, this is my first interview. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All I do is talk and answer questions. And then you might get Mm -hmm. some comments in the feed. Like people might ask you, you know, what's in your kid or whatever. Um, I always just say, (laughs) yeah. And just look it up yeah, on YouTube. It's not something like a cleaning. It's like, I think it's, there's a standard. Like, it's not a secret. You can't, you shouldn't hide your skills from someone else. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Share yeah. the love. Share it. Yeah. <laughs>